welcome back to the channel. Today, oh my god, construction, how disrespectful. Okay, we'll wait for that to pass. Okay, Yang, so I want to take you along today because I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping and I thought I could take you along in the process. So first, my boyfriend and I are gonna go to Mountain Equipment Co-op because I want some real tactical winter gear. So we'll head there. And then after that, I wanna go thrift shopping because I just cleared out a bunch of stuff from my closet and you know, it needs to be replenished. So I wanna go and look for sweaters and some shirts and basically everything. So let's do this. Let's go find a sweater. Where is it? That looked like a teddy bear. Okay gang, I've got the goods. The, the motive of this was to find a nice winter sweater. Okay, so yeah, we're at Mount and Clement Co-op and basically here, if you've never been here, it's very much um, for, what, what's that word? It's basically not for looks. Everything here is kind of, but they're, they're like, good material and they're made for like camping and shit. So like as you can see like like this isn't from the fashion show. You know what I mean? See this is what I mean like like tactical, you know? Like I could put in some like snacks in this pocket or like some rope if I'm stuck somewhere. You know? Okay. This is this is a maybe. That was Patagonia. This is the Manicum Co-op brand. You may be asking yourself, you know, why are there these two like random pockets in the middle of the crew neck, you know? It kind of is a weird design. I, I'm thinking that too. I don't like it. Next, we have another Patagonia. Derek thinks this is hideous. They had a bunch of different colors. It was like dark blue, light blue, and like white or something like that. They had a bunch of colors. Um, but I remind him, life isn't a fashion show, okay? It's about survival. The outside is fleece and so is the inside, which I guess is warm, but... I don't know. Again, not from the wrong way. This says, like, I'm a camper. Like, I can pitch a tent. Like, I can catch a fish, you know? It's warm. I like it. I like it. Is this a real pocket? Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't know why those pockets are. I tried to, like, push the button in, and it was on my Teat. areola. Yeah, that would be weird. Oh. I like this. Yeah, a lot of I think I can pull it off as, like, cute. Like, I thrifted this one time, like at a thrift store, because like I'm nifty. Um, but it was actually 170 dollars. T. I think this is a yes. No, oh, it doesn't say the price tag. Okay. I see. You just get surprised and have a heart attack when you have the cash register. This is in gray. I think aesthetically, this is the nicest looking so far. I got a size medium because they didn't have size smalls. But these were the same. Just different color choices. I prefer this over the purple. Like it's, I think the shoes are throwing me off. Like I'm not in my camping attire, so I can't really like get the vibes. You know what I mean? Like I want to be like, like catching a fish in this. Like I need to see that vision. Anyways, I think this is nice. I don't know if I like this or this one better. This gives me more like, I'm a camper. I live in a van. You're not a camper. I'm trying to change my lifestyle, right? Haters are gonna hate, but you just have to be warm, okay? Like, right now, it's between these two. I think this guy is out of out of our selection process. It's been cut, cut. Okay, the final two are the same sweater, just in different colors. It looks like this. It's from R apostrophe Turex. Can you, this material, can you feel it? How would you describe that? It's like a waterproof rain jacket material. Yeah. Kind of odd. Except it's only on the pocket. Yeah. The water can still get in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it, but I kind of want like a sweater. Like I want like a real sweater. Too thin. Too thin? I think so. Okay. This is too fashion. It needs to be uglier. Let me give you my thoughts. So I do want one of these sweaters because they like give the purpose that I like came here for um, and that I need, like I need a warm sweater. This I feel like isn't a warm sweater. This is just like another like crew neck sweater. So I would get both if this wasn't $200. Yeah. 
But yeah, we'll show you the price tag afterwards. It might not have been 200, maybe it was like 193. <laughs> like something expensive. Like <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna get one of those sweaters and I would have wanted to get this too. Like I would have gotten both of them because they're kind of like different and I do need sweaters. Like it's something I need. I'm not being impulsive buying these ugly sweaters for an expensive amount of money. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's too expensive. So now we must, we must make a decision. Pro con list. This is a full zip up, which I like. This is kind of ugly, but I'm kind of down. This one? You like this one? I like the colors. Like, this is so, like, meh. this is like, I camp. If you guys don't get the vibe, but you don't camp. Is, I do camp, bitch. If you don't get the vibe that this is like what campers wear, then you're not, you haven't been in the jungle with me, okay? You haven't seen the looks. This is the look I'm talking about when I say camping vibes. Whoa. There's camp in the title. Okay, this sweater wasn't as much as I thought. I'm a fraud. I think I got confused with this sweater, which is from the same brand. And this one was too hana. Okay, so Derek is trying to choose sweaters for me that are warm but not as ugly. Wow, he's got a lot. <laughs> Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. Nice quarters of this material. I have this material at home. It's like what I used to wear. Is it a Nike? No, oh. it's, it's from Mount Chemical. So this is like warm, but it's like thinner. So this is like very thin. Like it feels like a little bit thicker than a regular long sleeve. Oh. And I can have this so that when I'm pitching my tent, it doesn't get in my way, but it keeps the crevice between my thumb warm. You know what I mean? Okay. What are those even for? I don't know. Maybe it's so that your arm doesn't like fry up. Oh yeah, when you're putting it in a jacket, I'm making up. I'm making this up. I have no clue. I like this. This is okay. I like the Patagonia one better. It's kind of boring. <laughs> First, I bring you ones that are purple with three different shades of purple, and you say it's That's amazing. a nice purple. I don't like that. This is the same style as this one, by the way. Okay. Next, we have this is the same, but are these all the same, all three of them. Yeah. Different. Medium, medium, small. Okay. Because what if you want variety? I don't know if I like how this is like a mock neck height. What's a mock we'll neck? It's, well, it's kind of like a turtleneck, but I yeah. guess it's like a little bit. But it keeps your neck warm. It looks nice. Like, don't stand like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it goes through. I like this. I don't like the neck. Really? It keeps you warm. I think it looks stupid. Like... You don't have it like that. You fold it down a little bit. Like that? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think it's okay. I like how it's baggier. I don't know if I like this double color. I'm sweating. This is a maybe. This is going in the maybe list. I'll try on the dual color just, just for sheets. I really feel like these heels and these bell bottom pants are like throwing off the look. This looks just like the Patagonia one with the knit on the outside and fleece on the inside, but this is the Mount Echo Co op brand. I like this. I'm really used to wearing cropped things that show half of my body, like this. So the fact that this is long and covers almost my bootay, it's a little different. I like it. Okay, gang. So I got the Patagonia one. And I basically found a dupe. Like, look how similar they look. This one has a bit more warm colors with like gold and stuff. And this is like just white. And this one has a sticker that makes it $50 more. But, you know, we're gonna go with the dupe this time. So, this is the Patagonia one here. This one is $150, and this is $70. Um, this is the mech label. And I think I like it better. Like, it has the. The buttons Same. and everything, but I like this color better than these two. So I think we'll go with this. Tortelloni, not tortelloni, tortelloni, 
chicken stuff, and Derek is getting bolognese. Bolognese. This is mine, and this is Derek. Okay, so we just took the Loto Boost, and now we're at the thrift store. I've never been to this one before, so it could be completely fetch. Um, but we'll find out. So let's go. This thrift store, my overall thoughts. It's kind of teensy. I didn't find a lot of good stuff in the girls section. I found some stuff in the guys section. I'm also really tired. Okay, we're just gonna get, we're gonna get going. First I got this t-shirt from the boys section. I got it because I don't know what any of this means, but it's very soft and I feel like I could crop it cute or I could like do a little time moment or it could just go in the back of my drawer and I just won't do anything with it. So we'll see. I think I like this stuff. I think this is a yes. Okay, this is the next article of clothing. I feel like I could crop this and make it a nice cropped sweater like the one I was wearing before because I don't have a lot of cropped sweaters and I like having stuff that's cropped because I like to show my belly button. I'm kidding, I never show my belly button. It's like I don't even have one. <laughs> the next item is from the vintage store Sears. <laughs> it's ten dollars, but this one never had a chill. This is originally $10, but because it has a nice purple tag, it is 75% off. So that's that's kind of sick. It's a little bit big, and it's that whole like ugly vibe, but I think it's like, it's past the line of like ugly cute and it has just become ugly. So I'll think about it. <laughs> so this is a nice sweater from Roots, and it honestly looks like decent condition. It's $8 plus whatever the sale on a yellow tag is. I'm kind of down. Okay, so I just tried on these pants. I rolled down my socks so we could get the full effect. I know it looks a bit awkward. Um, I like them. I think they fit very well. I want pants that I could wear out in public that aren't jeans, but also aren't sweatpants because I feel like sweatpants make you look a little bit. Oh we just boy. Want to talk about that. So yeah, these are like technical. Like I feel like I could like. I feel like I could like jump those hurdles. And, the hurdles of life. I'm gonna jump the hurdles of life. So I really like these. Welcome back. We are now home and now I will show y'all everything, all the stuff that I got today. I'm currently in my pajamas. My glasses will be coming on and I look significantly uglier than before, but we'll just ignore that point. Okay. Oh my god, all the sweet cats are here. Okay, let me show y'all, let me show y'all the goods. You probably already kind of know what I got, but this is the official showing of if they made the cut or not. Okay, we're gonna start off with the shenanigans they got at Mountain Equipment Co-op. God, this chair is not very large. Okay, so first off, I got this gray and white knit sweater, a zip up, from the Mountain Equipment Co-op brand, and the inside is nice and fleecy and warm. Okay, so that's numero uno. Number two, we got this nice soft feller. The outside, I don't know if y'all can tell the material. It's very soft. And it has boutonnes here to button up. And, you know, she's real cute. This is also the Mountain Equipment Co-op brand. And the bottom has adjustable little stringies if I wanna be like a little bit snitched on the bottom. Now on to the thrift store. It was not a success. I'm honestly kinda of disappointed because it was a little bit far to get there. And you know, I was trying out a new place. I usually go to the Value Village around here, but I was like, it might be funky and fresh. Update, it was not. Ugh. So first we have these athletic, athleisure pants. They look like this. They're full length with a little bit of tightness on the bottom, a little bit of ankle cinching. And yeah, it's, I don't know how to describe this material, but it's a funky material. And yeah, so that's they. Next up, I got a t-shirt. I got it because it feels like worn out and soft. The back says psychedelic West Coast Sands. I know, it's pretty rad, dude. Okay, so that's that. And then I finally got this Roots black zip-up sweater. Obviously, after Mount Equipment Co-op, I, I was in a sweater mode. Um, and this was much cheaper than the sweaters there, so I was like, it's a hit. So, yeah. 
thank y'all for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing the shopping process and figuring out you know what what clothing items made the cut see y'all soon